Here's your first word. What is it? Potato chips. <laughs> okay, I call them crisps. What? Okay, what's this? French fries. No, 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 they're chips. Wh what? <laughs> chips. Crisps. French fries. Chips. Hi everybody, I'm here today with Super Agent Awesome. Thank you for coming. Anytime. And we're looking at British and American English words today. What's this? A cell phone. Okay, and I'd call it a mobile. A faucet. Okay, and I'd say it's a tap. What's that? An airplane. I say aeroplane. Cell phone. Mobile. Faucet. Tap. Airplane. Aeroplane. We got candy. Ooh, nice. And I'd call them sweets. We got sprinkles. We call these hundreds and thousands. Wow, a pretty big name for a really little dot. <laughs> <laughs> and what's this stuff? Jello. And I'd say jelly. Candy. Sweets. Sprinkles. Hundreds and thousands. Jello. Jelly. And what are these people wearing? Costumes. Okay, we'd say they're in fancy dress. I wear costumes for Halloween. And if you dress up very smartly, you might wear this. Uh, we will wear tux. And we'd call it a dinner jacket. Mm -hmm. Costumes. Fancy dress. Tux or tuxedo. Dinner jacket. What's this thing on the back of the car? That's a license plate. And I'd call it a number plate. The bit of glass in the front of a car. It's glass. windshield. Or windscreen. License plate. Number plate. Windshield. Windscreen. Oh, these are fish sticks. We call them fish fingers. Fish fingers. Like fish have fingers. Fish sticks. Fish fingers. He's doing push-ups. He wants to be fit. And I'd say he's doing press-ups. And what are these people doing? Waiting in line. And I'd say they're waiting in a queue. Push-ups. Press-ups. Waiting in line. Waiting in the queue. He's holding a wrench. That's a spanner. And do you know what that's called? Uh, I think that's an uh, Allen wrench. We'd call that an Allen key. Wrench. Spanner. Allen wrench. Allen key. We're looking at thumbtacks. And I'd call them drawing pins. Oh, for clothespins. And we'd call them pegs. A vacuum cleaner. We'd often call it a Hoover. Why would you call it a Hoover? It's named after the American firm, Hoover. That makes sense. Thumbtacks. Drawing pins. Clothespins. Clothes pegs. Vacuum cleaner. Hoover. We got a laundromat. And I'd call it a laundrette. And what kind of shop do you think this is? Uh, a pharmacy. We'd normally call it a chemist's. Do you also call it a drugstore? Yeah. In British English, a drugstore sounds funny because it sounds like a place where you can buy drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Laundromat. Laundrette. Drugstore or pharmacy. Chemist's. Uh, that's merry-go-round. Usually we'd say roundabout. We call this a roundabout too. Oh, it's a traffic circle. We have a lot of these in the UK. Merry-go-round. Roundabout. Traffic circle. Roundabout. A we woman's, a lady swimsuit. Yes, and we could call it that too. Um, would you ever call it a swimming costume? Uh... No, why would we ever say that? <laughs> it's not for Halloween. <laughs> we would call it a swimming costume. Would you call it a bathing suit? Yeah, we would. Okay, that for us is a bathing suit. It's really old-fashioned that, for us. That's a bathing suit? Yes. <laughs> swimsuit or bathing suit? Swimsuit or swimming costume. Bathing suit. Okay, everyone, we finished, so that's it. Bye now. Bye! Wait! We almost forgot something really important. What? But subscribe button. Oh, could you tell them about that? Yes. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Super Agent Nazim here. 
If you really like our videos and you want to stay informed on this channel, then hit the subscribe button below this video. It's the red button. Do it in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Did you hit it yet? Congratulations! You just subscribed and you're a new member of Simple English Videos. And that's the end of the video. We are about to say goodbye. Super Angel Awesome, signing off. Peace! <laughs> Thank you.